Hello beautiful people and welcome back to yet another video. My name is Sakshi Patel and I'm 5th year PharmD student. So in this video as a part of series of scope of PharmD, today we would be discussing about uh, a scope of PharmD in healthcare administration. And uh, before starting on with the video, I am really sorry but I had to keep the fan on today. It is extremely hot. There would be very very slight I think uh, noise disturbance in the video but I have worn my mic so it should not be too much okay so without any further ado let's start okay I have turned down some additional lights so I think it's a bit better now okay so let's see what your work profile would look like healthcare administrators with PharmD background they may work in various settings including hospitals clinics pharmaceutical companies government agencies and healthcare consulting system the responsibilities may include managing pharmaceutical services within healthcare facilities what this means is that along with the budgeting revising the budget and implementation of the budget you'll also have to see uh, you'll also have to manage the inventory you'll have to order the the supply and when you would uh, when uh, when should you order new products or new pharmaceutical uh, medications and products that you will have to see how you would place them in different uh, hospital pharmacies there are different hospital pharmacies in a single hospital also whether oncology department would have a special pharmacy then there would be an outpatient pharmacy there would also be hospital pharmacy and then they could they can also be a uh, floor wise pharmacy also there are crash carts in the hospitals right so what kind of medications will be present in each and every crash cart so that also you'll have to see um, developing and implementing policies to medication management and patient safety. Here you will also have to manage Saba, Sala drugs that is sound, al sound alike look alike drugs. How you would take care of patient safety and, uh, and uh, precautions when you are administering certain drugs such as uh, certain narcotic drugs such as fentanyl, morphine etc. So that you will have to take care. Collaborating with other healthcare professionals to optimize patient care. Uh, you can talk with other, uh, what do I say, healthcare professionals such as physicians, doctors, etc. And you can ask them what are the drugs that are commonly prescribed together and whether there is a cheaper, better alternative to that combination present as one single tablet or capsule or not. So then you can administer that to the patient instead of two different tablets. So this is an example just one example of collaboration with healthcare professionals they you can you will also have to collaborate with them when you are implementing budget when you are implementing hospital formulary or even when you are devising the hospital formulary okay overseeing regulatory compliance and quality assurance initiatives analyzing data and financial metrics to improve operational efficiency that is budgeting participating in strategic planning and decision making process so all of this would be your work profile if you are interested in healthcare administration next we have recruiters so hospitals and healthcare systems pharmaceutical companies government health agencies health insurance companies healthcare consulting firms and academic institutions that is research uh, sorry that is teaching and research roles is what i'm talking about so all of these are your recruiters again let me say hospitals and healthcare systems pharmaceutical companies health age government health agencies health insurance companies government health agencies they would be recruiting you for certain policies such as there are certain this ma card and such other cards are there right so for those uh, you would be required then we have health insurance policies uh, which is the same then healthcare consulting firms and academic institutions Next comes to the uh, next we come to the important part that is base pay range. So entry level positions there uh, by the way all of this whatever pay range that I have ever told you until now it always differs according to your location, according to your skills, your employer, your job profile etc. Okay? But entry level positions around 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs per annum, mid level positions 6 to 12 lakhs per annum and senior level positions more than 12 lakhs per annum. Additional factors such as bonuses, incentives and benefits may also impact overall compensation as I guess usual. Okay. Overall, we do have a promising aspect because there are so many government agencies, there are so many hospitals now who are actively recruiting PharmD, PharmD graduates for, uh, for healthcare administration. 
Next to excel in healthcare administration roles with PharmD background in India, you will need a combination of technical expertise, soft skills, industry specific knowledge. So here are some essential skills that would help you to get a better job. First is pharmacological knowledge which is so obvious but still so hard. Okay, strong understanding of pharmacology, drug interactions, dosage regimens, pharmaceutical care principles is crucial for effective medication management and patient safety. Next, a healthcare systems understanding, familiarity with healthcare delivery systems, regulatory frameworks, reimbursement mechanisms in India is essential for navigating the complexities of healthcare system. Uh, this you would require when you are getting a job for healthcare administration in uh, certain healthcare companies or even in government. So you will have to be familiar with healthcare delivery system, regulatory framework, reimbursement mechanisms in India, etc. Okay, next we have leadership and management, ability to lead teams, manage projects and make strategic decisions to optimize healthcare operations and improve patient outcomes. Because you would not only be working by yourself, but as I mentioned earlier, you would be in collaboration with other healthcare professionals, with other, uh, other pharmacy specialists also. Next we have communication skills, clear and effective communication is the key for collaborating with healthcare professionals, conveying complex information to diverse audiences, advocating for patient centric care. So communication will be important, how you communicate with the patient, how you communicate with healthcare professional, with fellow colleagues etc is very important. Next we have analytical, uh, also in communication skills you should know the pursuing power because that will help you as being a hospital administrator. Next we have analytical skills, proficiency in data analysis, financial management, performance evaluation to identify trends, opportunities for improvement, cost saving methods, uh, measures within the healthcare organizations. So uh, data analysis, financial management, performance evaluation to identify trends. Uh, along with this you will also have to be familiar with the Microsoft Excel because that is what you would be dealing in once in healthcare administration. Next is obviously the problem solving abilities, aptitude for identifying challenges, developing innovative solutions, implementing evidence based practices to address the healthcare administration issues effectively. Next we have ethical decision making, commitment to upholding ethical standards, patient confidentiality and regulatory compliance in all the aspects of healthcare administration. Next, interdisciplinary collaboration. I already told you this earlier that is, you will have to be uh, in consult with the healthcare professionals, with the nurses, and along with your fellow pharmacy colleagues, etc. Next is adaptability and resilience, cap uh, capacity to adapt to evolving healthcare trends, policy changes, and technological advancements while maintaining resilience in the face of challenges and setbacks. What resilience means is that once you have got a setback or a failure, then you have to have the ability to come back with the same vigor and along with not losing your optimization. So that is resilience, you know, girke utna, that is resilience. Okay, next we have continuous learning, a willingness to stay updated on emerging trends, best practices because there are always so many drugs being, uh, drugs or new molecules that are being identified every day, new, uh, what do you say, treatment plans being developed every day. So you will have to be, uh, have willingness to stay updated on emerging trends, best, uh, best practices, industry developments through ongoing education, professional development activities and networking opportunities. So I guess this is it for healthcare administration. So if you are someone who is interested in healthcare administration, this would be your job profile, these would be your recruiters, your base pay range and the skills that you need. Anything else that you want to know, let me know in the comment section below. I would obviously promptly reply to you. And there are certain other uh, scopes of family that I would be discussing in my subsequent videos. So do not at all forget to like, share and subscribe and please, please, please share my videos as much as you can because we really, really, really need loads and loads of watch hours. If you are someone who has watched it here, then I may also request you please to kindly, if possible, put my video on loop so that I get some watch hours because we really are aiming for that now. So this is it for the video. If you have any other questions, related to PharmD then let me know in the comment section below you can always mail me at patelsakshi164 at gmail.com for my notes 
See you bye bye at the next time at same place. Bye.